Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I just want to talk to you guys about cloth care uh, because I want, if you make the investment, when you make the investment in Norwex for your home, I want to make sure that your cloths last you a really long time. Um, I'm going on over a year with most of my cloths and they all are basically brand new because I've taken care of them. Um, the worst is when you invest in something, don't take care of it, and then it doesn't last a long time like it should. So I wanna make sure that you guys have all the tools that you need to really take good care of your cloths. So here's my viral cloth that I just used. Um, and I'm going to, once I'm done with it, run hot water, wait for the water to get nice and warm. And I'm gonna run the cloth underneath water and agitate it against itself. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same on the other side. Really doing a good job to open up those fibers and get all the gunk that's in them, especially grease and oil. Um, if you use them in your kitchen, you're gonna wanna do this every time that you use them. And you're going to agitate them, wring them out, turn off the water, and you wanna get as much of that water out of the cloth. So I wring it pretty darn tight. And then you're gonna wanna either hang it up by the tag. So remember, you can use the tag to figure out what it is. So this is our Enviro cloth and it has back hog. So the tag always tells you what it is. You can either hang it up by the tag or you can hang it over a surface such as your kitchen faucet. Your oven handle is one of my favorite places to put it. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. You can hang it up over your oven handle, over your dishwasher handle, wherever it's going to get ample airflow. That is our goal, is to make sure that we get as much air around that cloth so the back cloth can go to work at killing the bacteria, suffocating out the bacteria and the mold and the mildew inside the cloth. So you're paying extra to use Norwex and have that back cloth. Let's make sure that it actually works. One of the key things to making sure that your cloths last, last a long time too is how you care for them. So we have a couple different types of laundry detergent and they're all fantastic. You can wash your cloths and you do wanna wash them. So a lot of people are afraid of putting them in the washer or in the dryer. You're going to wanna wash them on hot and dry them on like low to medium. Wash them in a lint-free load. I like to throw them in with my sheets um, just because I know there's not gonna be any linty items that get caught in the microfiber or anything like that. Um, and then you're gonna to wanna to use a A laundry detergent that's free of fillers, dyes, I was looking for the word there, fillers, dyes, fragrances, optical brighteners, anything extra that you really don't need to get the cloths clean. I highly recommend any one of our laundry detergents. Um, so I'm sure that you've seen our Ultra Power Plus throughout our week here today, our week here, um, and this is probably my favorite version of our laundry detergent. It does a really good job at getting white clothes really white, bright clothes really bright, stains out, a little goes a long way. I use a half a teaspoon in my load of laundry in my HE um, front load washer. And I'm gonna post um, along with this video some images on how much to use per load. You may have also seen this bag of laundry detergent. This was a consultant special size bag. Um, this is actually like a half bag, 50 load bag of laundry detergent. Um, and this is what we call our old formula. So we originally had Ultra Power Plus, then we went to this, now we're back to this. Both do a fantastic job. I'm still working through this bag that I have. Um, both do a fantastic job at getting your clothes clean. Um, they are very comparable to one another. This is on sale right now. So, and it's while supplies last, so it might run out, um, but if you can get your hands on this and save a couple bucks, I would highly recommend it, especially to wash your cloths in. The last one that we have is going to be our liquid laundry detergent. I save my liquid laundry detergent for when I have grass stains, really gross clothes, anything that's super greasy, because this one is gonna be enzyme based and it does a great job at getting stains out. Boy moms, you're gonna love the, laundry, the liquid laundry detergent because it does such a great job at getting those extra little bits out. I personally am more of a powder laundry detergent kind of gal. So I use this um, and I can also use it as a multi-purpose cleaner for all sorts of jobs around my house. So these are what I currently use. I use this every once in a while when I need a little extra oomph. Um, but we also have a couple other products that you might wanna check out. Our stain remover, if, um, 
if you have a lot of stains, uh, motor oil, grease stains, this also does a really great job. You can use it as a pre-treat uh, before you stick the clothes in the washer. Boy moms, you're also going to love our odor eliminator. So you put just a capful, so this can be used a couple of different ways. You can put a capful of it in where you normally put fabric softener. Um, and it's going to go and eat away at all the gross, grimy, stinky boy smells that that's, I don't know how they get in the wash, but they do. Um, it is not going to leave your clothes like super fragrant or anything like that. It is an odor eliminator, not an odor distinguisher, I guess would be the word for it. It comes in three different flavors, flavors, scents. <laughs> um, it's great. You can also use it. You can dilute it in a spray bottle of water and spray the couch down with it. Um, dog beds, people use it for all sorts of things. So this is a cool little tool to have in your back pocket. So after you've had your cloths about six months, four to six months, I do recommend doing a deep clean of your cloths. You're going to know that you need to do a deep clean because your cloths will either start to stink, like they'll be a little like mildewy between um, washes, or they'll get kind of like crusty on the outside. Um, not a problem at all. Very easy to deep clean. So you're going to take one scoop. Um, so this scoop comes inside your bag of laundry detergent. You're gonna take one scoop of the laundry detergent and a really hot uh, bucket of water. So I actually boil some water, throw it in the bucket, let it cool down for a minute, put one scoop of laundry detergent, all my cloths in there that need to be deep clean, and let them soak for a while. The alternate is if you don't wanna have to boil water, you can get the microfiber cleaner and laundry booster. And this is gonna have about the same size scoop. Um, and you're going to do the same thing, but just with really hot tap water. So you can avoid that boiling of the water step. Both options are great, a great way to deep clean. Um, if you have hard water, you might see that you have to deep clean your cloths a little bit more often than if you have regular water. But one of the key ways to keep your cloths um, looking great, working great for a long time is not only deep cleaning them, but not washing them with dryer sheets, um, fragrance, any sort of extras, um, no bleach, no fabric softener, no um, scenty things. I don't even know what those are called, um, but nothing extra. Just use what you need to get your clothes clean. So I really love our wool dryer balls. We have two different types of dryer balls. There's the wool ones and then there's the plastic ones. They're little green ones with nubs. Um, I like the wool ones and I actually have six of them in my dryer. Um, and what they do is as your clothes are drying, it actually um, kind of separates them a little bit and keeps them from sticking together which helps them not only dry faster, saving money on your electric bill, um, but it also keeps the static down. So when I say ditch the dryer sheet, which you should ditch this dryer sheet anyways because it, those are one of the most toxic items in your home, um, go for the dryer balls. Um, they're better, I would say they're almost better than dryer sheets. They dry your clothes faster. They don't leave them smelling like weird, like trees or whatever, lavender, all the different smells. I don't even know anymore. It's been years since I bought dryer sheets. Um, <laughs> but you just throw them in the washer. Our set comes with a um, very pretty little bag that you can stick extra stuff in when you're done. Um, but you get three on a, in a set. They're 100% New Zealand wool, um, and they are wool all the way to the core. So sometimes you'll get knockoff ones, um, and they are not 100% wool all the way to the core. They'll actually be plastic and deteriorate deteriorate over time. So these last a really long time. Separate out your clothes. They're better for your cloths. They're better for your health um, and keep everything going great in the washer. That's all I have for cloth tips. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.